All right, Eric, Mark, standing in place. Episode 46, dog shit. We need to talk about dog shit. Dog poop bags on hiking trails. Also on sidewalks, the question's asked, are these people leaving those bags because they think somebody else picks it up? And, and I realized that that's a possibility. So I had more than one brain going through this, working on the uh, mental treadmill. <laughs> there does seem to be a lot of folks that just accept that things happen, that things happen on their own, right? That they're, there's people burning their garbage. There's a lot of people burning their garbage. So the idea that garbage just gets picked up, even from a home, is not, is not, it shouldn't be assumed. I guess I'm glad there aren't people burning little shit bags on the side of the street. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Like little candles. You could use them to find your way in the dark. Apparently it was a funny joke to arson somebody's house with dog shit. Time ago, oh, you know, there's no poop fairy. There's nobody that's going to come and get that. But maybe that's a poor assumption. Maybe there's people that have been taught just by seeing them. They believe that there is somebody coming to get them. That's why we're putting poo in plastic bags anyway. That's a strange process. We've got something that's biodegradable. We're putting it into something that's not, tying it tightly and then throwing it in a landfill. I have a yard and a dog and lots of poo. We made the meals. We put the food in the dish. Without that, there is no poo. So, I just want to say that I do a great job making dog shit. Why are we doing that? We're putting it in a bag, in a plastic can, that gets wheeled out to a street that a truck burning fossil fuels has to come and pick up, which then brings to some repository, some transfer location, gets moved into an even bigger truck, burning fossil fuels, driving on our roadways, wearing out tires, tires made of oil, to go make a giant pile somewhere of this material that didn't really have to even leave the yard. We could have dug a hole. <laughs> I'm a horrible human being. Wow. I hadn't actually thought that one through. There's, I think it's called Poo Prints, is a service that, that DNA tests dog crap in order to identify the dog that it came from. And there's apartment complexes that will have you register your animal's DNA. When you rent a room, an apartment or condo, you have to register your pet's DNA so that if you're not picking up their crap, they're going to paw print you. They're going to identify that it's your animal that's leaving that and then find you. Talk about living in different areas of the world, or like a place where you're burning your garbage. I guarantee you there's no poop printing going on in a place where you're burning your trash. This is definitely a first world problem. We talked about dog crap for the whole standing in place this week. That's fantastic. We'll see you in a week. All right. Good night.